And what this is, is caustic soda, or what's known as lye. What they're treating the hollow fill uh, settlement ponds with. What this does is adjust the pH, and it also causes the metals to collect into heavy balls and drop to the bottom of the pond. Uh, we're talking uh, aluminum, arsenic, all these heavy metals. Um, mag magnanese is one that we have bad here. Studies show that magnanese causes Parkinson's disease, behavioral development problems in children. Aluminum's contributed to Alzheimer's. We're drinking this stuff. Everybody is. The trouble with it is when it drops to the bottom of the pond and they go to clean those ponds out, it's not considered toxic material. They actually just load it up and bring it back up on the strip job and dump it again. And then when we have floods, it washes all that stuff out of the ponds into the streams. Uh, this stuff will burn the skin off of it. You don't want to touch it for its full strength. Uh, this is running into a, to a pond down here that they're treating. And my question to them is, who is going to do this forever? They said, oh, well, somebody will be putting it in there. I said, forever? I mean, it's killed everything in the creek. And besides, we're drinking this stuff. This is running down into our water system. Now, they can... They can get bacteria out of water pretty easy with chlorine and ultraviolet light. But heavy metals cannot be taken out of the water unless you use reverse osmosis. So we're drinking real heavy metaled water here and everybody plumb to Louisiana is, is drinking this that gets it out of the Mississippi, the Ojai, any of these river systems. You can see where it's coming down, and this is where the caustic soda is mixing with the water coming out of the, the mountain here, and it makes it look black like. And, and so the white is the, is the, the caustic yeah, soda. Yeah, is the caustic soda. The orange. Is iron and metals coming out of, part of this is coming out of an old deep mine, but it was always coming out of this mountain, even before they mined. This was the beginning of Raccoon Creek. There was just seeps everywhere here that made Raccoon Creek. When you said uh, it, it was always here, the, the orange stuff? No, the oh. orange stuff was not. There was just clear water uh, growing up. This was not orange until, even when they deep mined here, the water coming out of the deep mines was not orange. It only happened after they let them go on top of that old deep mines, do a mountaintop removal and contour mining and bust up all the top of that old deep mines. Now it's letting all those metals run down into the deep mines and run out this way, orange. We're going to test it here. Now it's 1600. Why that is, is we've had a lot of rain in the last week, which dilutes the water. And all these fingers, some of these fingers are not coming from places that's been mined, like on each side of the valley. So it's a little bit better water than coming out of that main seep where it has been affected by, by the mining. 1600 is over three times the level that the federal government says is not fixable. If it's 500, it's considered so polluted it's not repairable.
and we're at 1600 here by my home. 